Hello, good evening to all the audience and all the players that have participated as well. Even though we have gone through COVID-19 pandemic, I hope you all doing fine as well. Well, today I want to discuss about several topics under OSHA field. Right as well, let's begin with panel one. Our first question is, what is rule of OSH legal requirements in business management for specific industry which based on factory and machinery 1967, FMA 1967 and occupational safety and health at 1940 OSHA. But before we start, then let me give a short brief about OSHA in Malaysia. OSHA is abbreviation of from Occupational Safety and Health. This act which provides the legislative framework to secure the safety, health and welfare among all Malaysian workforce and to protect others against risk to to safety or health in connection with, with the activities of person at work. And there are four groups of OSHA standards, which is general industries, construction, maritime, and, and agriculture. Okay, let's move to our main point. Um, panel one, can you share with us in this forum, what is your talk based on your understanding? Uh, Let's start with our okay. first panel, Mr. Mohan Raj. Okay. Hello, everyone. I am Mohan Raj. Now, I am going to talk about the roles of occupational safety health requirement in a business management. In a business management, uh, organization for the occupational safety health is very important to uh, for the employers to work in a safe environment. It, even there is an accident or an uncontrollable event occurs, the occupational safety health, health can investigate and uh, provide a good solution so that it doesn't happen again in the future. Uh, this occupational safety health also uh, keeps the employers from the uh, uh, unpredictable events. What's your thought about this panel too? Uh, okay. Hello. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. What's uh, your th thought about this panel? Okay, for my thought, uh, for this, uh, question is, uh, okay. Firstly, my name is Api Hamizan Bin Sharudin. So my point of view in occupational safety and health or uh, is a uh, basically a standard is a is uh, which are in a regulation with the aim eliminate and reduce a uh, reduce a uh, hazard in a workplace. The focus of OSH is to have a se uh, healthy and productive for the good of the people and the nation. That concern on preserving and protect protecting human and facility resource in the workplace. In general, uh, there are few basic characteris characteristic for OSH, <coughs> particularly in business management, which it, which are uh, include all the components of OSH that are relevant to the to the members of the organization and the business process. The main the main OSH management system objective are to be defined by the organization that may include ethics, economical, uh, economical, legal and organization goal. Not all not all management system has similar objective. It is a holistic approach specific spe specify and requiring uh, implementation of series of elements and positive continuity. The function of an OSH management system is evaluated by the by the regular by the regular basic through OSH audit. Uh, finally, 
the output of OSH performance is important to the evaluation of the management system. Uh, that's all for my point of view. Uh, we can continue with uh, to uh, moderator can continue to other panel. Alright, uh, alright. Thank you, both of you. I like all of your ideas, and that's uh, we we can continue to our next panel. Yeah, this is uh, Mr. Abdullah Afnan. Okay. Assalamualaikum. My name is Abdul Afnan, and I will share my opinion uh, based on the rules that we talked before. So, in my opinion, I see that one of the roles of OSHA in a business management is to ensure safety and safety of employers and employees are in a healthy and a prosperous and safe. So, for example, uh, an employee who comes to work with a healthy physical body and sufficient character, meaning that uh, the worker comes to work with uh, with both hands, with legs, with both eyes, and return with its existing condition, not return with a broken arm, return with a bruised eye or any more uh, and any else. So uh, the business management that I took from my example before, just now that I said, is a business management of, a, for example, a vehicle factory. For example, uh, Honda Broton in Malaysia. So where workers are more, this yeah, this are the place that where workers are more exposed to various challenges while working. For example, workers are exposed to harmful fumes, hot work areas that are not ventilated properly. Uh, in addition, uh, when a worker is about to move the component from one part to one a place to a pl another place, and and based from my uh, practical experience, some workers will be exposed to uh, noise pollution every day at the working area. So, what is the role of OSHA in this example that I said? So, this is where OSHA comes into this problem and they make the they make uh, risk assessment from these uh, problems that I said before. So, the PIC will give uh, just now, the PIC will give earbuds, will give glasses to them so that their safety are uh, ensured when working there. So, I think that is all from me. The moderator can continue. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Afnan. I like your point of view and the uh, ideas of you is very fresh. And I understand what the uh, what are you is uh, what you want to tell. Us. Okay, now we can. I want to go to the next question. Is it is um okay? Uh, what is the occupational safety and health act in Malaysia and its salient features, uh, Mr. Mohan? Can you okay, share with us? Yeah. Okay, now. Providing to the company. The salient features of the act include is the establishment of national council for the occupational safety and health. There is a national council that controls all all the uh, rules and regulations and orders for this uh, occupational safety and health that need to be followed by every employers and also employees. The another features we can see is the duty to formulate the safety, safety and health policy. So day by day, uh, different kind of accidents and un unpredictable events occurs at the workplace. As we can see in the, we can read in the newspapers or 
you can watch it in the news so they have to formulate the safety and health policy and act that they provide to the employers that means uh, day by day they have to renew and recheck the acts that have to be follow in the in the company so the the safety and health of the employers are always in check and this is to avoid the accidents uh, of the employers or employees also so uh, panel 3 what do you want to say okay thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Final One, for the sharing. Okay, now I'm looking forward to hear what uh, Mr. Afi thinking about this. Okay, uh, for my point of view, uh, for this question, uh, the occupational safety and uh, uh, and health at 1994, OSHA 1994, provide the legal legislative framework to promote stimulate and encourage a high standard of safety and health at work. Uh, the act of the F, the act of 514 contain a clear statement that the responsible responsibility for the occupational safety and health at the workplace are shared between employer and the workers since the employer are ones who provide uh, the working environment. Uh, which give a give a rise of uh, rise to hazard hazard at work, and the worker are the one who have to work with this hazard. The self regulation the self regulator approach require the employer to establish effective safety organization and performance through self regulation scheme designed to suit the industry or the organization therefore uh, therefore this this must be cons consul consultation between the employer the, between the employer workers and the government to discuss any issue uh, regarding to safety and help at works uh, and it required to cooperate cooperate between the employer and the workers uh, to safeguard and improve the quality to safety and health uh, safety and health uh, at the workplace okay uh, OSHA 1994 defined the general general duties of employee employer and self employed designer manufacturing and importer uh, importer and the supplier of plan or sustain the the saline features the saline features of X include the establish of national council of occupational safety and health naosh the uh, the duty to accumulate uh, accumulate the safety and health policy the uh, appointment of safety and health officer in a certain case of industry and lastly, the establish of safety and health committee at the workplace, and the use of the the use of the infographic Malaysia or occupational safety and health profile. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you for the, Mama Api for your for your sharing. Okay, now let look forward to our next panel. Uh, Abdullah Afnan. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, uh, based from my understanding about DOSH is that DOSH is the is formed under the Department of Under Ministry, Ministry of Human Resources, as our model said earlier in this video, that this is, that this is, that this department is uh, is responsible for ensuring the safety and uh, welfare of people from various sectors as Mr. Mohan said earlier just now also. So for me, the salient and the interesting feature that I can see from the establishment of DOSH in Malaysia is that the objective of DOSH to Malaysia, towards Malaysia. So uh, there are three main objectives uh, of DOSH towards Malaysia is that the first objective is that I can see 
the uh, they target to reduce the mortality rate to 2.93 over 100,000 workers. Uh, number two is that to reduce the accident rate to 2.13 over 1,000 workers. So that's two workers in a thousand of people, two workers in a year that they, pro that they target will uh, confront this problem. And uh, lastly, the objective that I see that uh, the increasing reporting of occupational diseases and poisoning among employees by 30%. So, uh, as I can see from the figures that I uh, reviewed earlier, that DOSH is very committed in their stock of work to ensure the health and safety towards the workers in Malaysia uh, so that they will stay in a happy and safe uh, and uh, in a prosperous condition. Uh, yeah. So that is all from me. Uh, thank you. All right. I think I have all the all your thoughts and all of your ideas. Okay, what can I say about our session this night? Is a uh, OSHA is an uh, effective workplace safety and health programs at our uh, our work site, uh, work site will enable uh, will enable you to recognize and remove hazard from your workplace, protect your workers from injury and illness, prevent loss of life at your work site, improve the productivity through less sickness absence, cutting healthcare costs, keeping other workers in employment, stimulating more efficient work methods and technologies. Uh, any of you have anything you want to say? Uh, I'd like to end this meeting. Thank you very much for your all for all your of your cooperation and have a good day. Thank you. Now that's me and you when we are not around you and me. We are together now through my window. I can see there's more than you and more than me. Me and you when we are not around this for you. We are together now through my